Hey YouTube, it's my Ish Marie and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing how I upkeep, maintain my son's hair. Um, he is, he just turned 11 and his hair is very thick and long. And I do his hair like once every three months. Yeah, because his hair is, is really hard. It's tough to manage. So I don't do it a lot. Whenever I do his hair, I try to find a hairstyle that lasts him months at a time so that I don't have to mess with it. And then I just keep his, now his back, the back and the sides is shaved off. So after I, I wash his hair, I conditioned it. Um, I try to detangle it as I braid it. Because detangling, I had to wash his hair in my tub and it was just, I couldn't detangle it. Just too much work. So I'm going to detangle it before I braid it. And later on, I'll cut off the sides and give him a little fade for his uh, haircut. And I don't really mess with his lineup too much. I, if he go to the barber shop, I'll let him get a lineup. But usually when I do his hair and cut it, I don't. I don't line them up. I just cut it and fade the back and the sides. Another reason I don't do his hair much is because he is very tender headed. He wasn't, he didn't, I don't remember him being so tender headed when he was younger. He's always had hair. He used to have locks. I cut his locks off um, about, I want to say uh, two years ago. It was probably more than two years. I don't know. But he used to have dreadlocks. Um, I think he had just regular hair all over his head until he was about six and then i locked his hair and then i cut it and then it grew back out to this and um i asked him did he want to lock it again because honestly i think it'd be easier for me to manage it if he locked it back up but he don't want to he don't want the dreadlocks again so hopefully he'll change his mind and um, that'll make it easier on me because I have to do my hair. I have to do his hair. I do everybody else's hair. And he don't even like, he don't even prefer like hairstyles. He's to the point where he just want to wear his hair. He don't care if it look bad or not. So honestly, I don't even see why he don't want to lock it because he don't, he don't really care. So what I'm going to do today is just plait it up and some um medium sized plaits and then like i said i'll just cut the back off and fade it just a little bit and this hairstyle is going to last him a very long time um i think what i'm gonna start doing just to make it easy for me i'm gonna start washing his hair with the braids in wait about two days and until it fully dry and then i'm gonna start taking them down like one by one, re moisturizing them, rebraiding them. Instead of having all his hair out like this, it is so hard. It's so tough to manage his hair when it's out like this. So I'm gonna try and do a few braids at a time, like every every other day or whatever. I just refresh a few of them after I wash all of them while they're still in the braids, because I just think that'd be a lot easier.
Okay, so it's been a long time since Amir went to a barber shop. He don't like to get his hair cut. He don't like to get his hair done, but he don't want he but he want to keep the hair on his head. Um, I don't know what he expect is gonna happen to the hair if don't nobody mess with it. But I've been cutting his hair for a long time. Well, both of my boys' hair, I've been cutting it. Now, Tony, my oldest son, he goes to the barber shop every other week. But um, he's getting older, so he just feeling himself a, you know, look more than he used to. But Amir don't mind me just cutting his hair. And um, I'm not a professional hair cutter, barber, or whatever. I just, I found a few videos on YouTube um, that explains, you know, the simple way of fading and um i guess that's pretty much all i did was just watch a few videos and they tell you which guards to use and how far to go up basically I have to create these guidelines to help you determine where you want the fade to start and then i mean it's pretty simple um yeah so here i'm just using my clippers and then i cut all the hair off i don't use no I didn't use no guard for this and then once i start the fade i use a zero guard and then i think that's all i use a zero guard and then just the clippers with no guard and it's times like this where i really appreciate and i'm really grateful and thankful for having this uh shed to do hair in because cutting hair this hair get all over the place when you cut hair and I used to do it in my house and then you have to clean up so much no matter how much you vacuum no matter how much you thought you clean it's still going to be somewhere on the bottom of a sock a shoe something of somebody's foot so it, I really appreciate having this and I'm really thankful because once I get through doing people's hair I literally can just walk out and decide to clean up another day so it don't really bother me that I leave it I leave hair all over the place in the shed I don't really care so that's is really convenient that I could just do hair I'd be tired when I finish so I could just literally walk out and leave the hair and clean it up another day that's the whole point and purpose of getting the shed so I can have a separate place to do hair and they want to affect my everyday living